स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खोलेंगे मैथ्स का पिटारा पहुंचाएंगे एल सी एम एन एच सी एफ के टोलक मैं हूँ अमर मोदक सो वेरी वेरी फेंटास्टिक वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स एंड होपिंग दैट ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन एंड क्रेट सो मूविंग अहेड एज यू हर्ड दैट एल सी एम एन एच सी एफ दिस अ वेरी वेरी कॉमन डाउट वाला टॉपिक हाँ बहुत कंफ्यूजन होता है कोई नहीं आज हम लोग क्वेश्चन करेंगे एल सी एम एन एच सी एफ के और बहुत सारे डाउट्स क्लियर हो जाने वाले सो विदाउट मच डिले अभी तक अगर किसी ने सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल वी ओ एस वेदांतु ओलम्पियाड स्कूल एंड वेदांतु यंग वर्डर्स बोथ अफिटेबलिस चैनल्स टू गेन योर नॉलेज सो अगर नहीं सब्सक्राइब किया डू इट सब्सक्राइब राइट राइट नाउ एंड ऑल्सो डू लाइक इट एंड शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स ठीक है तो चलो फिर सबसे पहला सवाल लेते हैं जया हैज पैक ऑफ कार्ड्स इफ शी मेक्स अ ग्रुप ऑफ थ्री और ग्रुप ऑफ एट और अ ग्रुप ऑफ ट्वेल्व कार्ड्स देन नो कार्ड इज लेफ्ट ओवर हाउ मेनी कार्ड्स डज she have in the pack jaya ke paas pack of cards hai wo teen ka group banana chahti hai ya fir eight ka ya fir 12 ka so aise wo banayegi jisse koi card bache nahi so kitne cards hone chahiye us pack mein jaldi se pause karo button ko aur ye find it karne ki koshish karo that hum log kaise answer ko nikal sakte ओके तो चलो उम्मीद करता हूं सभी क्वेश्चंस को सॉल्व कर लिए होंगे और जल्दी से उसके आंसर जो है कमेंट बॉक्स पे भी डाल दो सो लेट्स डिस्कस सो जया हैज अ पैक ऑफ कार्ड्स जैसे कि कह रहा है क्वेश्चन कि जया के पास एक पैक ऑफ कार्ड्स है अब हमें एक ग्रुप बनाना है थ्री का एट का ट्वेल्व का सो so, इस केस में चूंकि हमें एक ग्रुप होना चाहिए राइट उन तीनों कार्ड्स के जो सेट होंगे आइदर वो थ्री का हो एट का हो या ट्वेल्व का उनके एक सेट बनाने ताकि कोई भी कार्ड जब भी उसको डिवाइड करा जाए सो एक भी कार्ड बचे नहीं सो इन दिस केस वी शुड गो विथ एल सी एम एल सी एम ऑफ थ्री एट और ट्वेल्व जैसे कि थ्री एट और ट्वेल्व का एल सी एम होगा थ्री वन थ्री फोर सा तो हम लोग फोर ले लेंगे वन फोर टू सा फोर वन सा और ये हमारा एल सी एम बन के आएगा थ्री इंटू फोर इंटू टू दैट गिवस थ्री फोर जो ट्वेल्व टू सा ट्वेंटी फोर सो हमारा राइट आंसर होगा ट्वेंटी फोर ठीक है बच्चों चल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पे चलते हैं फाइंड द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर दैट विल डिवाइड फोर्टी थ्री नाइन्टी वन एंड 183, so as to leave the same remainder in each case. बहुत ही सुंदर सा सवाल बहुत ही बार ऐसे सवाल पूछे जाते हैं स्कूलों में कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम जल्दी से बताओ ऐसा सबसे बड़ा ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर ऐसा कौन सा ले लें जो डिवाइड करेगा 43 को 91 को और 183 को जिससे सेम रिमाइंडर एवरी टाइम द It will leave the same remainder in each case. Put the video on pause, solve it, and find the correct answer. Okay, so I'm hoping that you have done it, and you will be just posting it on the comment box. So let's discuss. Find the greatest number. Now, if we find the HCF of forty-three, now what happens? Lot of times students make the confusion, and they find out the HCF of forty-three, ninety-one, one eighty-three. If we are taking HCF of forty-three, ninety-one, and one eighty-three, that means we are getting a number which will be dividing forty-three, ninety-one, and one eighty-three completely. We will never get a remainder. Whereas the question says it should leave the same remainder in each in each case. So what we will be doing? Will be subtracting first. Ninety one minus forty three. That gives us eleven minus three is eight. 
seven, uh, nine, it becomes eight. Eight minus four is forty-eight. Second comes one eighty-three minus ninety-one, so it gives two. Eighteen minus nine is nine. Next is one eighty-three minus forty-three, so it will give us zero. Eight minus four is four. We have to take the HCF of 92, 48 and 140 will give us 48 dividing with the long division method, 48, 1s are 48, 12 minus 8 is 4, 8, 8 minus 4 is 44. So, 44, 1's are 44, 4 is left, 44, 4, 1's are 4, 1's are 4, okay. So, 140 once again gets divided with 4, so 4, 3's are 12, 20, 4, 5's are 20. So, therefore, we are getting this 4 to be the highest number which will divide 43, 91 and 183 and in each case it will give a same remainder. In each case it will give the same remainder. Let us move on to the next question. The greatest number of 4 digits which is divisible by 15, 25 and 40. And 75. The greatest number of 4 digit which is divisible by 15, 25, 40 and 75. Now we need the greatest number. It should be a 4 digit and it should be divisible by 15, 25, 40 and 75. Let us discuss. So, to find out the greatest number 4 digit, now we know that 9999 is the greatest 4 digit number. But is it being divisible by this number, this number, this number and this number? No, we don't know. So, what we will do is, we will take out first LCM. That what is the lowest common multiple of these 4 numbers? So, it is 15, 25, 40 and 75. So, it will give us 5, 3 is a 15, 5, 5 is a 5, 8 is a 5, 1 is a 5, 5 is a once again 5, 3, 5, 1 is a 8, 5, 3 is a 15. Then once again we can take it a 3, 1, 1, 8 and 5. So, it becomes 5, 5 is a 25, 3 is a 75 and LCM of this all number. We can write LCM equal to 75 into 8, that is 8 fives are 40, carry 4, 8 sevens are 56 and 4, 600. So, 600 is the LCM. Now, 600 should divide 9999. It is 9999 to become the greatest number. But if we divide 600, 1s are 600, 99399, 600, 6s are 3600. So it is not dividing. The remainder is remaining 399. So therefore, to get the highest or the greatest 4 digit number, what we will do is we will subtract this 399 from here. So, therefore, it gets 9600. So, therefore, C is the right answer, students. Okay, getting my point? C is the right answer here. Let us move on to the next question. Three bells toll at the interval of 36 seconds, 40 seconds and 48 seconds respectively. They start singing together at a particular time. When will they toll next together? 
So if three bells are there, they are ringing at an interval of 36, 40, 48. And for one time, they rang all together. Now we want that after what time, there will be a possibility that all the three bell once again ring together. So pause the video, solve it and get the right answer on the chat box. That whether the option is 6, 12, 18 or 24 minute. The answers are being given in minute. Okay. So let's discuss. So three bells as we want them to be together. So in that case, we want them to find a common multiple since we want all the three to take place together. So in that case, we'll take LCM of 36, 40 and 48. So it will give us, if we take, Let's say 6, 6, 6, 6, 8, 48. Once again, I'm taking a bigger number. Let it be 6, 4, 10, 4, 2, 2, 3, 6, 2, 5, 10, 1. Za. So 6, 4, 24, 24, 2, 48, 48 into 15. So it gives us. So, 48 into 15 gives us 8 fives are 40, carry 4, 5 fours are 20, 24. Then, 8 ones are 8, 4 ones are 4. So, 0, 8 four twelve, four two six one seven. So, if you solve it, you get 720. Alright. So, 720 seconds. Alright. 720 seconds. This we are getting as a LCM. So, whatever time they have rang all together, after 720 seconds, they will ring once again. So, 720, since we are <clears throat> not having answer in seconds, so we convert it 720 divided by 60. So, it gives us 6 ones are 6 twos, 12 minutes. So, after 12 minutes, we will get all the bell ringing together. Okay. Sure. So, I hope you have got this part also. Let's move on to the next question. And this is going to be your homework. So, you will tell me on the comment box what the answer you are getting out when you solve this question. That what is the other number if the LCM of the two numbers and HCF is being given and out of those two numbers, one number is 275. So, what is going to be the other number? Okay. So, students, you can follow me on Instagram, Telegram, and you can also post your queries, doubts on this queries anytime 03 at the rate of gmail.com. And you can ask, also ask for any sort of topic which you, you want. The more questions to be practiced, you are free to ask. Okay. See you then in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.